So room data in a room, if you're thinking about it, is the abstract information that we need to track for a specific room type. Um, so if I go into this, you know, what is the occupancy load of a particular room? Um, or what's the width uh, of the perimeter of that room? Or does that room need wall protection? It's not specifying the exact wall protection, it's just saying, does it need wall protection? Um, and you can have as many parameters, as many tabs as you want to track information that's relevant during your specific project types. And this goes back to what I said at the very beginning of the presentation. We can be used on, on essentially any project type because we're customizable. So all of these tabs uh, could be named something different. You can have as many as you want. You can have as many sections as you want. You know, so I have a door section here and I can have as many parameters or, or fields as I want in there. I can have drop down menus, uh, text fields, number fields, you name it, that's up to you guys. And one of the really powerful parts about it is this customization, this is done by you. Uh, it is not, you're not, it, you're not needed to come back to Dorothis and ask us to do anything. It doesn't take a programmer. It's somebody with the skill set of an architect or interior designer uh, or a BIM manager that could definitely do this. So that's, that's the aspect of a, of a room data sheet. The next concept that we want to talk about in a room, so we've talked about the properties, the room data sheet. And the next one is, is the, and I'm going to skip images and documents, we're going to come back to that, is the idea of items lists. So if I click on an items list, this is essentially going to show me all of the equipment that I'm planning in that list. Just like everything else inside of Dorofus, this is completely customizable, meaning I can have as many lists as I want and I can call them anything I want. So I have one here called ff &E. I have another one called electrical, door, mechanical. I could, if this was a hospital, and, and it is, but I don't have one, I could have a list called uh, medical equipment. Um, I could have um, door hardware as a list. It's, it's up to you and it's up to the project and what's important for you and your owner or your client and what you wanna track. Um, it goes back to the adage, just because we can track it doesn't mean we need to. So we'll only track what, what makes sense for that particular project and project type. So in here, we talked about how we have the fact that we have items. Um, and the next thing that we're going to talk about is, well, what is an item? So I'm going to close this out. Um, we're not going to accept any changes. And I'm going to go to the items register. And we're going to see this, this structure that looks kind of like the function structure. This is our items Structure just like everything else in Dorofus, completely customizable, different nomenclatures and number systems if you want. I'm going to go to a CT scanner because it's the one I always use. And when I click on that, we're going to pull this up. And we're going to look at the parts of an item. Um, and so, one thing to note on, on an item an item is something that is concrete, I meaning it is something you place in a room. Um, and so, you saw those items lists. We had FF and E, and I said you could have medical equipment. Uh, you probably noticed that there was also a finishes section. Um, carpet is an item you put in a room. Paint is put on a wall, even though it's very thin. And, and they do have properties, and often they have images that you have to track. So if you're, you're doing a spec book um, or a product catalog for a client. Um, and so if we get into this CT scanner, let's talk about the, the parts of an item. Um, very similar to a room. There's the properties. You know, there's classification codes, and, and we can have the name and the number of that item. Um, if we wanted to, we could have pricing on that item. Um, instead of, of room data, we have item data, and that's these tabs down here. Um, just like room data, they're completely customizable. Um, but one very significant difference between room data and item data is that item data um, will, will vary based on the functionality of the equipment. So what does that mean? This is a CT scanner that I have clicked here. And it's asking me to put in what are the electrical and data requirements. So if I was the engineer on the project and the electrical engineer, I could come through and say, well, yeah, it needs backup power and probably UPS. If I were to switch to a different type of equipment, let's say furniture, and go to a stackable chair, for instance, um, it wouldn't make sense for it to ask me, does that chair plug in? Because it's a chair. And you'll notice that that tab goes away. Um, but what you'll notice it also does is it adds an additional one. So does it have an upholstery? On this particular chair, it doesn't, it's just a plastic chair, but it could. Um, and again, that's, that's up to you. So you'll go through and, 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 and based on very simplistic rules, set up how you want this to go. Um, and this is how you'll, you'll minimize the amount of information that your users see when they're planning their project. They only see what's relevant for the project type or the item type or the room type. Let's go back to that CT scanner here. We're gonna open this up. So we have these different tabs of information and you'll notice that there is an image here. You'll also notice, and I don't know if I have a document here, but there's a documents folder. I don't, it's blank. There's a documents folder here where we can add PDFs and Excel documents and so on. 
this is any information that you want to share with the entire project team. And so you'll notice that every single item has the ability to have images and documents. If I go back to the rooms module, every single department does as well. And if we go to each, any one of the rooms, every single room does as well. So we can add documents to the project. We can add documents to a department. We can have documents and images to a room and we can have documents and images to an item. And so all of this information can be shared across the entire project in a single location. And this is all shareable information.